Baby, I love you. Beep, 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 yeah! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs you didn't know were written by Paul McCartney. For this list, we'll be looking at surprising songs that were written, or even co-written, by the music legend himself. What's your fave McCartney song? Let us know in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10, Veronica, Elvis Costello. This song belongs to Elvis Costello, but it was actually co-written by Paul McCartney. These days I'm afraid not even sure the name is Veronica. The lyrics explore the story of a woman called Veronica, who lives in a nursing home and suffers from memory loss. Costello and McCartney took inspiration for the lyrics after Costello's grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. The writing combo raised eyebrows at the time, McCartney was facing bad press due to his being an ex-Beatle, while Costello was young, upbeat, and ready to rock and roll. However, the two worked their magic together and made a timeless song with incredibly heartfelt lyrics. Number 9. Six O'Clock, Ringo Starr Six O'Clock marked the first collaboration between Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney since the breakup of the Beatles a few years earlier. That keeps me asking, you keep me asking, you keep me wondering why. Released on Starr's 1973 solo album Ringo, the song was actually co-written by McCartney and his wife Linda. The lyrics focus on the perspective of a man not treating his lover as he should. The collaboration sparked rumours of a Beatles reunion, especially since Starr also collaborated with George Harrison and John Lennon. I don't treat you like I should. Unfortunately, no such thing happened. But Six O'Clock remains an important song, as it marked the start of the McCartney Star co writing collaboration. Number 8 I Wanna Be Your Man, The Rolling Stones. If you're a rock fan, you know the Beatles vs the Rolling Stones debate is a touchy subject that has no actual resolution because both bands are so great. In 1963, Lennon and McCartney wrote I Wanna Be Your Man and offered it to the Rolling Stones. They thought the song would be a better fit for them. The Rolling Stones made some changes to the song, including adding a unique R&B beat and of course the iconic guitar part. Released as their second single in November 1963, I Wanna Be Your Man was an immediate success, peaking at number 12 on the British charts. Number 7, Songbird in a Cage, Charlotte Gansborg. Paul McCartney wrote Songbird in a Cage around 2011 and gave it to Charlotte Gansborg, who released it on her 2017 album, Rest. <laughs> She met McCartney for lunch approximately six years prior, during which she told him that a song from him would be a dream come true. Sounds like a casual lunch conversation indeed. But sure enough, a few weeks later, McCartney sent her a demo of Songbird in a Cage. Gainsbourg later worked on, in her words, making the song more chaotic. She even got help from McCartney, who dropped by the studio to add guitar, drums, and piano. Number 6. I'll Keep You Satisfied, Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas McCartney provided assistance to John Lennon in co-writing the song I Call Your Name. The two originally gave the song to Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas back in 1963. You don't need However, sometimes the original recording just doesn't work out, and the writer doesn't feel it did the lyrics justice. In this case, Lennon allegedly wasn't satisfied with what he had heard. He ended up recording the song with his own band instead. The 
The Beatles released the song in 1964 on two separate albums, in the US on The Beatles' second album and in the UK on Long Tall Sally. Number 5. Woman, Peter and Gordon Sometimes McCartney used pseudonyms when writing a song, and this was one of those cases. Woman was written by Bernard Webb, aka Paul McCartney himself. Woman, if you need me then believe me I need you to be my woman. The song, recorded in 1966, was a test whether or not it would be successful without the Lennon-McCartney writing partnership. Woman was recorded by Peter and Gordon, who actually recorded three McCartney-written songs previously. This song reached number 14 on the US charts and number 28 in the UK. At first, McCartney didn't want to reveal he was the writer, but the secret was out two weeks after the release. Fun fact, in the demo version of the song, McCartney also played the drums. Woman, if you take me then believe me I'll take you to be my woman. Number 4. A World Without Love, Peter and Gordon Please lock me away McCartney's writing talent goes back to his teen years. He wrote A World Without Love when he was just 16 years old. The song was given to the Peter and Gordon duo soon after they signed their label contract. A World Without Love was an immediate success, topping the charts in several countries around the world. McCartney did demo the song himself, but he felt it wasn't the right fit for the Beatles. I don't care what they say, I won't stay in a world without love. A World Without Love is the only Lennon McCartney non Beatles song to reach the top of the American charts. Number 3 Goodbye, Mary Hopkin. Goodbye is a McCartney song written for Welsh singer Mary Hopkin. Hopkin was one of the very first artists welcomed to the Beatles record label. When it becomes tomorrow, I will leave to go away. It was released in 1969, and actually, it did pretty well on the charts. So well, in fact, the only song blocking it from going to number one was the Beatles single, Get Back. Now that's quite an accomplishment, and it doesn't end there. Recording the song in other languages was actually the reason why Hopkin met her husband, Tony Visconti. Sounds like Paul McCartney should add Cupid to his resume of many talents. Number 2. Like Dreamers Do, The Beatles Written in 1959, Like Dreamers Do was one of McCartney's first songs. However, it's a song he didn't personally like. You, you are that girl in my dreams. He said the arrangement for it was weak. In 1962, the Beatles auditioned with it for Decca Records, but didn't make the cut. Yet despite its failure, it was an important step for McCartney. He revealed that playing your own songs at the time was considered a bit of a joke. Waiting for the bliss, like dreamers do. But he went on to say that Like Dreamers Do was still an important song to play in order to break the icky feeling of self-writing songs and then playing them. What an inspiration. Number 1. Come and get it, Badfinger. If you want it, any time I can give it, but you better hurry cause it may not last. You're probably thinking of the Selena Gomez song, but no, McCartney didn't write that one. Come and Get It was a song written in 1969 and played during the movie The Magic Christian. It was performed by the Welsh rock band called Badfinger and reached number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. It was also able to reach the top 5 in Canada, UK and Ireland, proving McCartney's penmanship never fails. You want it. Interestingly enough, McCartney demoed the song with a slightly upbeat tempo compared to Badfinger's version. He even ended up playing it himself at a concert in 2011, prizing fans in Bologna. What a catchy tune. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.